story to tell. Although only a single was built, the Su-37 has left many impressions with its advanced technology. It was a testament to the strength of the post-Soviet-Russian defense industry. April 2, 2021 marks the 25th anniversary of the first flight of Russia's Su-37 heavy air superiority fighter, dubbed the Terminator. It was part of the ambitious program to forcefully upgrade the fourth generation Su-27 flagger airframe. The Su-27 has been in service since 1985. The Su-37 prototype was intended to be built as a technology demonstrator with a host of new features as the foundation for the development of the Su-27M. Although several years later than planned, due to the deterioration of the Russian defense sector in the post-Soviet era, the Su-27M was finally put into service, joining the Russian Air Force in 2014 and redesignated as Su-35. The first flight of the Su-37 was remarkable it came at a time when ambitious post Soviet military aviation programs were being cancelled consecutively. The Su 27 was the least expensive of the aircraft programs of the time, such as the MiG 144, so production continued. In addition, another fighter that helps the Su 27M continue to produce is being popular in export markets. The most notable feature of the Su-37 was its super maneuverability due to the addition of three-dimensional thrust vector engines. This is a technology that has been developed in the Soviet era since the early 1980s. The Su-37 airframe entered testing in early 1995 and was delivered to the Sukhoi Design Bureau test plant for the installation of thrust vector nozzles. Due to the collapse of the Soviet Union, the plan to equip the more powerful AL-37FU engine was cancelled and replaced with the AL-31FP engine. The engine was similar to the AL-31F engine used on the Su-27, but had thrust vector nozzles for added power. Another notable feature, the digital flight control system, was linked directly to the thrust vector control system. This gave the Su-37 better maneuverability at high attack angles at low speeds. The Su-37 had more powerful sensors than any other Russian fighter. It was equipped with a doppler face array radar, which provided the ability to track 20 area targets simultaneously. The new radar also had both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground capabilities.
the weapon system of the Su-37 was relatively modern. It possessed 12 external hard points, capable of carrying 14 Vimper R-73E short-range air emissions. The R-73 is an infrared homing missile with a sensitive minimum engagement range is about 300 meters with maximum aerodynamic range of nearly 30 kilometers at altitude. In addition, the Su-37 was equipped with KH-25 and KH-29 air to ground missiles with 317 kg square head and a 30 mm GSH-301 cannon with maximum rate of fire 1,500 rounds per minute. Lacking support from the Russian government, Sukhoi developed the Su-37 with its own resources. Based on the export revenue from the sale of the Su-27 to China and Vietnam, only one Su-37 was built. This plan crashed in December 2002 due to a structural error. Although little known today, the Su-37 was an important and modern aircraft in the post-Soviet years. It symbolized Russia's constant improvement in military aviation at a time when most projects were being cancelled. My video about the Russian Su-37 fighter answer Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.